Well, welcome to your fourth uh, expression tutorial. This one's going to be about like variable types. So, let me leave this. Okay, so you'll notice there's nothing after here that specifies that this is a number. Um, but expression two is not um, what that's called like dynamically typed, which means that these variables, they're not any type you want. They're only one type. And you're probably wondering, what type is that? The type is, is just a generic like number class. Well, technically it's called normal, but there's also, because it's also a number that you can do. Anyway, um, to specify something's type, you do a colon and then you type number, which I believe that's what it's like in JavaScript. I don't know, because I don't program in JavaScript very often. And when I do, it's not anything serious. But yeah, it's a Unity script. Anyway, um, yeah, it's a colon and then you type whatever type you want. Uh, these are the type, or these are like most of the types. String, array, um, vector, entity, number, and normal. Those are pretty much all the types that you'll ever use. Um, so for example, if we just did this normal, if we made this normal be exactly the same as it was before. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna write out the list of types again, because I forgot to mention everything that I wanted to. Okay, so, yeah, I didn't say Okay, so normals, they're, they're pretty much just numbers. Numbers are pretty much just numbers, nothing special, really. Uh, string is a string of text. So this is like a string of text. So this could be something like, hello, or like, the ship is on fire. You never know. Um, the vector, this is a set of three, or, well, actually, a vector can be it can be a 2D vector, a 3D vector, or a 4D vector. Um, let's bring you to another point. There are complex numbers in this too, so you can like... There are also quaternions, which if I can remember how to spell it. Ah, Okay, so that's what's spelled like. Anyway, so there are quaternions, um, which, you, which also exist in this. Um, I don't actually know how those work, so I'm not really going to be explaining that. But it's they're, they're, they're like complex numbers, but they're a little bit more than that. I'm only going to touch on complex numbers because they're pretty much just fancier numbers. And I don't think I've ever, they've ever come up when I've been programming. So, yeah. Anyway, vectors, it's a set of... Blah, 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 blah. A set of two, three, or four points. And then... So essentially it's either two dimensions, three dimensions, or four dimensions. So that means it either has x and y, or x, y, z, or x, y, z, w. And the w is just what they called it. I don't think that's like, I don't think it like stands for anything. Just like x, y, and z don't stand for anything. Um, complex numbers, it's just, well, it's just like a normal complex number. It's a plus b times the imaginary unit. Um, and it'll let you do like math with them. Quaternions, I believe this is like a times i plus b times i, but I wouldn't take my word on that. Okay, so I, I, I will do a tutorial on these later, but it, what it is, is it's... I don't really want to get into a math lesson right now either, so I'm just going to stick with this. Okay, so what it is, is it's a plus b times i plus c times k or C times J times plus D times K, and I, J, and K are all imaginary numbers. Um, okay, so entity. What an entity is, is just any like object in the game. Like, for example, a barrel is an entity, an NPC is an entity, a chair is an entity. It doesn't really matter what it is. It's probably an entity. Um, this is just like any in-game object, such as a chair, um, I'm just going to click combine or barrel. And an array, this is like a list. It's a list of objects. Um, and it can be a list of any number of objects of any types. Um, so, most of any of objects, or I shouldn't say objects, sound like a, you may be like, oh, that's like an entity. A list of variables that can be of any type. Okay. Oh, and finally, there's one more type. It's called wire link. So this is, it is essentially, you can wire like a link to an entire entity. So the entity, you can like wire the entity to the um, 
to this input and then you'll be able to access all of its outputs and inputs from this one input. It really helps a lot to make it a lot cleaner. Like you could do button wire link, for example, like this. Um, and then you could access all of the inputs from this and all the outputs from this, which is super convenient. So yeah, I, wire links are cool. Um, link to entire entity so that all inputs and outputs can be accessed with just one input because wire links are inputs. Um, anyway, that's going to be it for this tutorial, actually. It's not very exciting, but yeah, we're going to use this next time. So thanks for watching, and goodbye.